So how do you make a cool banner for your YouTube channel? The first thing I find is annoying is if you use it on a computer, then YouTube actually wants it this size, but you're only actually going to see this bit on your YouTube channel. So you need to use a template, ideally. Don't just make a banner that's this wide. It just doesn't work. But I found a easy bit of software that will make your banners a lot better because I'm I'm not a graphics guy I cannot do some wizardry with Photoshop or whatever I'm not that type of guy I can take pictures the photos also with um, photography I'm more of a uh, what do you call it traditional photographer I'll take a picture um, I'm not somebody who spends two hours altering it on Photoshop if it's a bad picture it's a bad picture um, but Anyway, this tutorial will actually walk you through how to make a very easy, nice uh, YouTube banner. But also, if it doesn't fit the first time, I'll show you how you can jiggle it about a bit till you're happy with it. Okay, so here we are on PhotoJet. www.photojet.com, which is F-O-T-O-J-E-T, -E not P-H. Um, so, PhotoJet, just slide down and you'll find one that says YouTube banner down here in the bottom. Um, let it load. Where did it go? I know what I can do. Oh, here you go. Uh, this, it's got plenty of templates you can select that. It's talking me through it. Let's get started. Sometimes this takes five minutes to load, but hey-ho, this one's actually loaded pretty fast today. Right, um, first thing you got on the left hand side is all your templates. So you could have, what's going on there? It says dance, Fox's dance. Oh, is it wanting me to change the background? Okay, it's loading them without the background for some reason. Anyway doesn't really matter the backgrounds aren't loading and the, normally I can see the backgrounds on here but it's not doing it so you got a load of templates down inside here so select the one you like even if the background doesn't load uh, so let's go with good times and then over here you've got your photos so let's take this one just throw it in the back and obviously the backgrounds matched but because you've got a black backpack it doesn't really fit with the picture uh, with the text at the bottom there you go it's a bit better and not fantastic now as you can see the text is in the middle because it knows this bit is the bit you see on your YouTube you know on, on the top of your banner uh, let's see uh, if we go to my channel let's have a look at mine just so you know what I'm talking about this bit See that's in the middle. That's that's taking it straight from the middle. So that's that bit. So you know that's your border. That's the bit that you want to concentrate. These bits you only really see on a TV screen, to be honest. So what about if you got your own photos? So I can go add photos. Where do I want it from my computer? No, I'll take it from my Facebook. And it can go and search for your Facebook photos. Let's just grab one on. Let's grab Oob. So you just go, yeah, click. You can click as many photos as you like. Those two will do. Add. Just swap it out. There you go. And we'll call this one Good Food, uh, just as an example. Good Food. And as you can see, I just clicked on it there, and you can change the fonts. So let's make this a bit more interesting. Uh, permanent marker. Good Food. Slide it and you can adjust it so you can see where it's just got that funny square shape. You can move it around. Good food, and it doesn't look so good in black text. So let's change this one to white, it might stand out a bit more. There you go. And then when you're finished, all you do is save and the quality. I always just go high quality. And then just save to computer and 
let's, okay, uh, we'll do it. Uh, let's call this food, food for thought. And we'll go to my YouTube and we'll play around. So you notice I left that window open here, uh, wherever we are, YouTube. I left this open. And I'll show you why in a second. So, oh, that's what I was doing earlier. Uh, back here. So we want to change this. So you go edit channel art. Select from computer. We call it food for thought. Let's upload it. So it take a few seconds. Enough time for me to get a little bit of coffee. And you can see that I only took a few seconds to, well, probably less than a minute to actually make a header. Now, the advantages with this is if you're not very good at graphics, like I said, you can knock one together in no time. Just go through your photos. They've got different ones. As you can see, the one that's you can only just see on the background over here is different photos because basically what I do, you can just drop them in. You know, go, okay, I want that one there and get it the way you like it. You know, it's it's very, very simple to use. I'll go back to see if it's loaded yet. Still uploading. Come on. As you can see, it's got a max of four megabytes. Those images you're doing here are about two megabytes, even with the high quality ones. If you want to fast forward this a little bit, just to <coughs> get ahead, I'll wait for it to load, because I can go to, if I stop the video, then start it again, it's gonna, uh, instantly go straight to the end and finish. Oh, come on, this is extremely slow. You should have done this in a few seconds. Oh, I know why, it's because I'm working on it. I'm uploading some files to my server at the moment in the background, that's why it's slow. Okay, so now we can see what it sees. Now, one of the things you know, good food is showing in the middle. But we've lost a bit at the bottom. So, I, oh, oh, he didn't want to do that. Hang on. And a sec, let me reload that. Oh, it's done it. So we've lost this bit at the bottom. So we know roughly where we need to be because we're just catching the top of the text. So we go back here. Can you bring that up? Do something like that. Uh, get it somewhere in the middle. Because you can just click delete and it'll go, but I'm just doing this as an example. So let's just change that back to black text, because now it's sitting somewhere like that. And then what I would do is save it again. This is why I keep the names the same. Food. So it's food for thought. Yes. Okay. Then I would upload it again, edit channel art. And we know it's food for thought. Upload it again, I'll pause this time. So it's now uploaded and you can see the text is now where you want it. it that doesn't look a bad header actually. Uh, that'd be quite a nice one for food. Uh, I bet some people are asking, why has Matt got this on his page at the minute? <laughs> um, but anyway, that is how easy it is with this. It's very easy software. Like I said, I mean, you can just change the templates and drop something else in there. I start again, you know, do something, do something interesting. Uh, like I said, I mean, a lot of us aren't very good with the uh, creativity on images. So this is a, a shortcut. And on top of that, if you look on the left here, You've got, well, six different ones. I'm not sure if this has a professional version as well. Because a lot of these online bits of software will have like a free version to get you involved. 
and then another version to get you to buy. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah.